The life of every soldier goes far beyond military training and deployment. At the core, these men and women are individuals with needs that they have to meet, challenges that they must overcome, and dreams that they want to accomplish. They share similar life experiences just like everyone else. But for us to truly understand these men and women, the Belizean behind the uniform, we must go back to the beginning. We must hear from the soldiers and their loved ones about what life was like before making that crucial step to join the military and how their decision to join the Belize Defense Force has changed their lives. Hola, I'm Corporal Link. Um, I've been in the BDF for 22 years, almost 22. Um, my spouse is Paulette Link. My name is Paulette Link. I'm married to Corporal Link. Um, we have been together for the past 27 years or more. We went to school together, but we weren't friends in school. As a matter of fact, I didn't like the guy. I met him before he joined BDF. I was supposed to have my last son in June. And I remember praying and saying, God, please let me have this child before he joined BDF. And thank God he answered my prayer. I had my son the Saturday morning. So when he went into BDF, my son was just one day old. I didn't want him to join because life as a BDF is quite difficult. But I have always been the type that support him with whatever I want. Regardless if I like it or not, I will be there supporting him. Colonel Steven Ortega, uh, Deputy Commander for the Belize Defense Force. End of September this year will make me 27 years serving with the Belize Defense Force. My name is Eleanor Ortega, wife of Colonel Ortega, Steven Ortega. Um, we have been together for the past 20 plus years. I remember when I went into labor, it was during the hurricane. It was Hurricane Keith, I believe. And he had to go to the barracks and my mom took me to the hospital. He couldn't come back in. And this is why I always say I have great respect for the men and the women of the Belize Defense Force. Because although he couldn't come in, I had soldiers that came to visit. You know, I, am, I had soldiers that would come and, Mrs, are you okay? Do you need anything? They were so willing to be there because he wasn't there. Um, I remember there was this one guy, a very close friend of his, um, he came in and he was the one that was there early in the morning before he would go to work he came and he visit made sure everything was because I was in the hospital for like three days and he came and visit made sure that I had everything and then he would go to work he would come back in the evening and he would visit so the nurses actually believed that he was the father at one point you know because he was so attentive and when I had um, I was ready to be discharged my husband came in finally he came in and he actually came to pick us up and the, the funny thing about it was when he came, um, my husband is of dark complexion, the guy that was visiting was a Hispanic and ironically when my son was born he looked Hispanic. So the nurse kind of looked at my husband like, nah, maybe you're not the dad. <laughs> you know, we always laugh over that because this, this, this guy that was there, you know, you would have believed that he was the father. You know, and that's why I always say I have great respect for the men and women because a lot of people don't see what happens within the family of the Belize Defense Force. My name is Sheena Martinez. I am married to Captain Kenrick Martinez. We've been married for the past nine years. After finishing UB, he decided that he'll take the exam to join the BDF to become an officer. So I had no problem. Although initially I always tell him I would never marry a soldier or a police or be with a soldier or a police. But when he decided to do that, I supported him. After finishing up the three months training, he was chosen to do another training in UK for 18 months. We didn't have phone service then, so we used to write letters. <laughs> and that's how we communicate. And if I don't send a letter within a month, oh my. <laughs> He missed birthday, he missed a lot of special occasions during her boyfriend and girlfriend period, but um, you just take it one day at a time. My name is Judith Henry. I am married to Ashley Henry. Um, he's a private, so we've been married November of this year, we make two years. Um, but we've been together for November of this year, we make six years. We met at Melisha Hall. And from ever since then, we've been going strong. It's not easy, 
but we've been holding on. One must agree that being a soldier in the Belize Defense Force is no easy feat. These dedicated men and women are tested every day both mentally and physically and are professionally trained to withstand the harsh realities of war. But deep within, they are as human as the rest of us. I am Captain Justine Swift Agas. I'm currently the communications and signal officer for the Belize Defense Force. I was told to apply to the different U.S. academies as well as the academies in the U.K. And I think by April or May of 2005, I got a letter saying, on behalf of the President of the United States of America, you've been accepted in the West Point class of 2009, which was pretty exciting for me. West Point is perhaps one of the most prestigious um, colleges in the world for us as foreign nationals. We have to compete with the rest of the countries in the world, so I was very fortunate to be one of two Belizeans to attend West Point in 2005. Training was very, very difficult. The, the hazing, just being away from home, not being able to call home and tell my parents about my day and just having a shoulder to lean on. Me being from a foreign country, you know, training all day, you weren't able to develop friends at the time because, you know, you were, you were cadet private in training. So it was very difficult for me mentally, emotionally, and for me, it being the first time I was away from my family. Um, I'd like to consider myself as the person that kind of held my family together. So during that tenure, during that four years of, uh, at West Point, my family, my mother and father, they actually separated and I felt that I could have, if I was here at home, there was a little maybe I could have done to try to assist them in staying together since I was kind of like the focal point of the family. Well, at least that's what I, I, I tend to believe. I felt there was something that I could have done. And when I graduated and I came home, I was so excited to share my accomplishment with my family. but then my family wasn't together anymore. So I just had to pick up the pieces, you know, that was there and try to start my own life, which led me to meeting my current husband, who is also a member of the Belize Defense Force. My name is Elizabeth Martinez Nikinones. I am married to Emilio Quinones, he's a sergeant. And we are married basically for nine years. My family support was very poor and that was what made it difficult for me. And likewise for my husband too. Like, sometimes I get, I'm at work and I get calls, oh, your baby sick or your baby not eat, or it's this, and like, it frustrate me, right? So I'm like, I, I, I even had this instance when one time I got a call that my baby was not going to school. So one day I got a call at home and when I answered the phone, my boss told me, when I answered the phone, it was my boss calling me. So he asked me, what happened? So I told him, sir, I no longer want to be a BDF soldier. So he asked me, what was the problem? I tell him, sir, I have too much issues. And instead of being an asset to the BDF, I'll be a liability. But then he told me, but Martinez, that's not the way BDF goes, right? We have procedures in doing things. So he told me, well, you can t have, take all the time that you need to take to deal with your family. And after which one you get through, you can come back and report to work. It, but it was difficult when it comes to that family support. Our proud soldiers live a life filled with numerous daily challenges and surprises. And perhaps theirs is even a more difficult undertaking than that of the average Belizean. I'm Marva Herrera Amoa. I'm originally from Hattieville. I'm married to Major Amoa for the past 15 years. My son Alvin, um, I believe that he didn't quite understand what his dad was doing. Um, I think he believed that his dad was just not there for them. And um, I will be real, um, I think he resent his dad quite a bit for that. And um, he started to give trouble um, hanging out. And um, that was one of my most difficult time because he got his, himself into some trouble and we had a lot of people, a lot of the, the husbands who spoke to Alvin, who was there, you know, encouraging him and said, you know better than this. I believe the support was there, especially with Alvin. The men who were involved in his life and the women likewise. So he grew up into this amazing man now. I mean, you know, so I believe the support, it, it, it plays a, a big factor in our lives that we had them there. My name is Femi Pelayo. I'm married to Carpal Pelayo. 
Um, we've been together for 21 years and he has 20 years in the job. For me, it was a very difficult experience being very young because I was only 16, 17 and um, he used to go for like two weeks, come back three days and then I'm with the kids and very small kids and I didn't understand nothing about being a parent and I was alone. So when he came, the kids used to do all kinds of stuff. He let them do this and do that and then when he go back then I have to do, try to train them all over again. And then sometimes when they're sick, I can call because he's not on the camp. So I have to deal with that myself. Several times I find myself crying because I don't know what to do. And um, I didn't, I used to, the, the only person that used to be with me was my sister who died. My name is Alice Ramirez. Um, I'm married to Captain Ramirez. He's a pilot. I'm originally from Orangewa. He's from Corozal. Uh, we are together for 12 years. I'm married for 10 years. Um, he's in the job for 14 years already. When I met him, he just passed out from England. He was in England for nine months. And I met him on a September. September 21st, after a parade that he did in Orange Rock. The passing of his um, grandparents, it was very hard on him. Um, I... I think it affected all of us. very close to us and they, um, they are the ones that actually um, were there for him with his dad. Um, he was away so it was difficult for him. When his grandma, when his grandpa was the first one to pass away, and he got to reach in time, but with his grandma, it was different. Um, I could have felt and how the feeling of him not being here, and it wasn't easy. That was like his mom, the one that pushed him and raised him, and push him to where he is now and she lost her memory she had um, Alzheimer's and he was the only one that she could recognize after like two years that they said she had Alzheimer's and the love she had for him can't explain it. So when she passed away, it was very difficult. Um, but we got through it. You've heard the soldiers and their loved ones speak about the heartfelt challenges they have had to endure. From the death of a loved one to a key family member being absent from home for months. There is no doubt that these men and women have seen dark days. This brings us to two important questions worth answering. Despite the sacrifices made, how significant is it being a soldier in the Belize Defense Force? What are the rewards and benefits that our soldiers have received by becoming an integral part of the Belize Defense Force? I am Captain Adran Ramirez. I am married to Alice Ramirez, and we have three kids together. I've been with the BDF 13 years. I'm on my 14th year now, since 2004. The best reward is being able to provide a brighter future for my kids. One of the other benefits, and, and I would say this is overall, 
I became a role model without I even knew it. I didn't even knew where this would take me. I've been to many different places. I've had people come up to me and, hey, you wanted to be the F pilots? Wow, we see you guys fly and I have no idea who that person is. My son wants to be a pilot now. Like, like people come up to me and ask me, how do, how do you become a pilot in the BDF? And I would take my time out to guide them and tell them, hey, this is how you could do it. It's not going to happen overnight, but this is, the, this is the real truth in BDF. This is how it's going to work. When I go to school to pick up my kids, a lot of kids look at me like, this guy in his flight suit, he's a pilot. That's, that's AJ's dad. He flies the helicopter. I just hear it, you know, and I could tell that it's making a change, it's making a difference. If that inspires them to be something greater, then I think I ultimately did what God intended me to do, be an example. I'm Captain Andrew Agas. I've been in the media for approximately 10 years, so I joined in uh, 2007. Some of, some of the benefits is that my wife knows exactly where I am because I could imagine for a, a civilian wife seeing her husband deployed most of the year, he comes home for a couple of days and then he gets a call, he has to go back, you know, problems can start that day if you, if you know what I mean, right? But her being here, it's, it's, it's very relieving for, for me to know that, you know, she knows where I'm going, she understands. When I come back with exciting stories, you know, she's there to listen, you know, she can relate because she, she knows about, you know, she's part of the military as well. So she's a, she's familiar right, with, with what's taking place out there. Media is a very exciting job, very exciting. If you're an adventurous person, if you're a spontaneous person, this is definitely the place you want to be. And not only that, if you're a person that, that wants to, you know, uh, create some type of change, right? not only for yourself, but for people around you, for the force itself, this, this is the best opportunity you get. Because as a soldier, you move up and around. So you start off as an officer cadet, cadet to LT, go all the way up to general. So the higher you go, the, the more change you, you can, you know, the more change you can instill. Despite the challenges they face each and every day, whether at home or out in the field, the soldiers and their families see no better reward than proudly wearing the Belize Defense Force uniform and joining their military brothers and sisters in the most important task of protecting Belize. Tune in next time as we go behind the scenes to better understand what all is involved in patrol missions of the Belize Defense Force and how important their deployment is to the safety and security of Belize.